<laughs> Praise the Lord. Ratchet Knucklehead here, a.k.a. Brother Junior. Brothers and sisters, we're going to look at Romans chapter 5, verse 20 and 21. Then we're going to look at Romans chapter 6, verse 1. Romans chapter 5, verse 20 to 21 says, Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. But where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. That as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans chapter 6 verse 1 says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word, taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. And my brother, this is God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> 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 Praise the Lord! Brothers and sisters, there are two individuals. There's one, Romans chapter 5, verse 20 to 21. And then there's Romans chapter 6, verse 1. Romans chapter 5, verse 20 to 21 says that the law entered and the law that Romans chapter 5 verse 20 and 21 is talking about is the, is the most the law of, of Moses the, the Ten Commandments the law entered so that the offense may abound and so the offense that Romans chapter 5 verse 20 to 21 is talking about the offense the the, the nature of of the offense the the, the nature of sin the, the nature of uh, of iniquity the nature of transgression the nature of of man's mistakes, the nature of man's failure, the nature of man's shortcoming. Uh, 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 so the, the, the law of Moses, the law, law of Moses was there so that the offense may abound. But then Romans chapter 5, verse 20 and 21 says um, but, uh, that they abound. But then he says this, but where sin abounds, the, the nature of sin, where, where that abounds, grace much more abounds. So grace is God's undeserved, unmerited, unearned favor. It much more abounds the nature of man's shortcomings, the nature of man's iniquities, the nature of man's transgression, the nature of man's mistakes and failures. Grace, God's undeserved, unmerited, unearned favor, much more abounds man's shortcomings, the nature of man's shortcomings. And then Romans chapter 5, verse 20 and 21 goes on to say, but that that, that as sin, the, the sin, man's shortcoming, the nature of man's shortcoming, as sin hath reigned unto death. So sin, the nature of man, uh, it, it, it reigns sin unto death. Makes that statement. Watch this. He says, even so, grace, hey, grace, grace will reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ, our Lord. Praise the Lord. Then we have Romans chapter 6, verse 1. After he hearing this, he just makes this one statement. So, why so what what so shall we sin so that so that so so shall we sin so that grace may abound? That's all. After hearing that, it's it's as if Romans chapter six, verse one, didn't hear nothing that Romans chapter five, verse twenty to twenty-one said. It's as if he, he, he didn't believe what Romans chapter five, verse twenty and to twenty-one said. It's like he didn't understand what Romans chapter Five, verse 20 to 21, um, I had to say. It's like this individual in Romans chapter 6, verse 1, it, it doesn't like what Romans chapter 5, verse 20 and 21 has to say. The, 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 the attitude. You know, so you're know, saying, you're giving us a license to sing, you know, you know, so, so, so we sin so that grace much more abound? So, shall we sin so that grace could abound? You see, if this Romans chapter 6, verse 
one individual is paying attention and appreciated what Romans chapter 5, verse 20 to 21 says. Again, he mentioned about the sin, why the law was there to show the nature of man's shortcoming. And, and, and that there's, a, there's an antidote to, to man's shortcoming. And, and it's grace. Because he, he, he says this, that the law was given so that the offense could abound. But where sin, and watch it, that as sin hath reigned unto death. And so what, 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 what the Romans chapter 6 verse 1 individual fails to realize that 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 has sin it reigns unto death. So it's not about you uh, about you trying to confess your sins because that will reign unto death. It's not about you repenting of your sins because that will reign unto death. It's not about you trying to do something uh, uh, to to remedy your sins because that sin will reign unto death. It is about grace that much more abound. And, and, and notice what the Romans chapter six, verse one individual says. He says, shall we sin? And he's talking about, you know, the, the action of sinning, the, 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 the sin action. Uh, shall we sin, do, do whatever we want so that grace can abound? He just says that grace can abound. But he didn't hear, right? He didn't hear what Romans chapter 5, verse 20 to 21 said. He said, uh, where, where sin abounds, not sinning, the sin nature. Where sin nature abounds, grace much more abounds. He, the, the Romans chapter 6, verse 1 individual is sin conscious. The Romans chapter 5 Verse 20 to 21, preacher of the gospel of grace is righteousness conscious. And so, and the year is 2020. 2020 believing the perfect vision. Jehoshaphat said in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20, believe the Lord your God and be established. Be established in a God who says, uh, 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 what Romans chapter 5, verse 20 and 21 says, where he says, a God who, where even that might grace reign, oh, look at that, grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, and soon to come in King. Be established in it. And be established in the Lord's prophets who are preaching the gospel of grace. That, 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 that speaks of a grace that much more abounds. A grace that through the righteousness unto eternal life. And when you believe on the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you have eternal life. Righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. And what will happen? You will prosper. Brothers and sisters, the year of 2020 is coming to a close. But, 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 but we got, the, the, we got more in store. <laughs> Just like Romans chapter 5, verse 20 to 21. We're coming up to 2021. Where, where we, where in, in, in 2020, we had the, the, the believing, which was the perfect vision. We're going to now see 2021, the believer. <laughs> and so, when we know about who we are in, 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 in 2020, believing, we are now going to answer into 2021, the believer. And one thing we could do 
is we don't pay attention to no Romans chapter 6 verse 1 individual who, has, who, who doesn't see the righteousness, the, the, the grace, uh, 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 and, and the, the, just the pure excellencies of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Don't pay attention to no Romans chapter 6 verse 1 uh, uh, individual. You pay attention to Romans chapter 5 verse 20 and 21. 20, 21 believer. Be, let's get ready for that. <laughs> but for now, we got 2020 believing the perfect vision. Jehoshaphat said in 2 in Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20, believe the Lord your God and, and, and be established and believe the Lord's prophets who are preaching the gospel of grace and you. <laughs> <laughs> will prosper. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his conscience to you. May the Lord give you his peace. And I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up an inheritance to those who are sanctified in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And unto him that is able to keep you from falling, present you faultless in the presence of his glory, both glory, majesty, dominion, power, both now and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, Romans chapter 5, verse 20 and 21. Listen to those preachers. Don't listen to know Romans chapter 6 verse 1. <laughs> they got nothing to say. <laughs> they don't know nothing. They can't say nothing. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God bless you. <laughs> Agape love. Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs>